Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Before we actually start this video, I do want to say that Nathan is near my room right now. So if you hear him talking or anything like that, it's just because he's came in and he's curious at what we're doing and stuff like that. So we might have an actual little nice surprise from him. Uh, but today's video is going to be something pretty awesome that I actually, well, I didn't discover it. I actually think a load of people have done this glitch before in the past, but none of them actually knew how they did it. They always did it by accident and I actually found a way to do it guys. I'm gonna be showing you in today's video It's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it's absolutely Amazing. I promise you guys it makes me feel like Mewtwo or something when I do this glitch. It's absolutely amazing uh, So anyway, here I am today in Pokemon Brick Bronze and I'm looking pretty happy. Look at that. Look at my happy hair I've got such happy hair. I look like a little I look like a little happy person Um, but yeah today we're in Laguna Lake, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place was called Laguna Yeah, okay, so we're in Laguna Lake and um, yeah, this is the first place that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the very very awesome um, upside down floating in the sky hoverboard glitch. I don't really know a catchy words or a catchy kind of glitch name for it. I'm pretty sure that I will figure something out and it'll be in the title of the video to kind of catch people's eyes. But it's amazing and it looks amazing and it is amazing. I promise you, you it, like people are going to be so like crazy hyped up about it when they see you doing this glitch. It's going to be crazy, guys. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're actually going to need to have is something that a lot of you guys are going to have problems with. And that is the Mega Salamance board. As you can see, I have it right here. It doesn't have to be the shiny one. It just has to be the Salamance boards. And you get this by actually going to the arcade in Anthean City and beating the Flappy Bird game. I can't remember, I think it's called like Flappy Rowlet or something like that. I don't know. Um, but that's how you actually get the uh, Mega Salamance board. And with this board, you can actually do so many glitches, guys. So I do highly recommend it as one of the best glitch boards in the actual game. As you can see, when I get on it, it always makes me like do this. And uh, this is a part of the reason why this board is one of the best boards that you can get in the game. Now, another thing that we're going to have to do once we've got the Mega Salamance board is we need to go into Roblox and change our character's weight to very skinny and very tall. So make sure that you have your character's thinness very skinny and have your character's height at the tallest possible height. And your character should look something like this. You know, I'm looking like a, I'm looking like a hunk. I look like a sexy hunk. Um, and basically, that's all you need to do. This is, you're pretty much halfway through the actual guide already. Now, this uh, floating in the air glitch can actually happen in so many places. You can do it in so many places that have sky barriers. And one of a, one example of a city that does have a sky barrier is this one right here. This has a sky barrier right above our head. Um, so anyway, let's get into the guide itself, guys. Remember, don't forget to leave a like, guys. And also, go and check out my social media in the comment sections below or the description. I have a Twitter, a Facebook, a uh, Snapchat. Uh, no, I don't have Facebook. But yeah, anyway, I have an Instagram. That's what I meant. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to these trees right here, guys. And uh, as you can see, they've got these little tiny gaps in between them. And what we want to do is we want to line our character up right on line with this little gap. And what we're going to do is once right next to it and lined up with the gap, we want to press the R to get on our Mega Salamance board. Now, unfortunately, I didn't do the glitch right there as it does take some time. As you can see, I just nearly did it then. It was so close. Um, so, yeah, it does take a little bit of time, guys. But, um, you know, eventually you will get it. And um, I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try and get it in a couple. Oh, my God, we did it on the second try or the third. I can't remember. But that is a world record for me right there. And as you can see, guys, it just actually teleported me onto the sky barrier. Now, the reason why this game actually does this, the reason why this glitch exists is because this board is programmed or scripted to work on any surface on this game. Now, obviously, because we can't jump in Pokemon Brick Bronze, we can't just jump onto the side of the wall and then press R because that would then glue us to the side of the wall. Now, of course, you guys know that uh, I founded like the uh, rides on walls glitch, and that's because we kind of bump up onto the wall, and then 
basically what the board does is thinks that this wall is the floor and it, it, it enables us to actually ride on the wall. Now what we just did right then is we actually did a little glitch where we phased into the tree itself and the tree kind of teleported us up into the air but whilst it did that it also got us so close to the sky barrier that the board thought that the sky barrier was the floor and it basically teleported us and made it seem like the sky and, or, or the floor even. So basically the game thinks that we're actually on the floor right now, but no, 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 no siree. We are actually on top of the sky barrier floating around, which is amazing. I wonder if this guy goes crazy. No, he probably thinks that this is a normal thing. Is he a noob? Yeah, he's a noob. He he no he doesn't know how awesome this is right now. He's like going on his merry way. You are a noob, sir, and you only have the fire badge because you are a noob. So yes, him. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty awesome glitch, guys. And I'm actually going to show you another place where it works. And I want you guys to then go and try this glitch in numerous places, in numerous cities, and tweet me if it works in those cities. Do a little tweet of you up in the air like this inside one of the cities and uh, yeah I might just retweet it or show it off in my next video if you send a screenshot it'll be pretty awesome guys uh, so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna press R and we should go flipping back to the floor that's crazy we just go back to the floor like that I'm, I'm still pretty happy right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to the next route right here and um, which is I think it's route 5 I don't even know. I haven't played this game in so long. It's Route 7. I'm such a noob. Um, but basically, what we can actually do right here is go to any tree like this one right here. And if we, if, you, if it doesn't have a tree next to it so that you can't do it in the gap, what we want to do is go to the very corner of the tree and press the R. Now, unfortunately, it is very hard on the single trees. It's much easier if you have a double tree. Um, but to be honest... I don't know, multiple trees work, it's just going to take a little bit more time doing it on this one right here. Um, as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one, maybe I can get it in a second, I don't know. Sometimes it actually works easier if the tree is next to an invisible barrier or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down this way right here. And um, we're going to go to my favorite spot on this map to try it. And uh, it works almost all of the time here. I don't know. It's, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. You just kind of have to get lucky. And also, there is another glitch here that I'm very excited to show you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys are going to be, like, really shocked at this. And be like, whoa, how does that even work? Um, it might happen. It might not. But basically, in this little corner right here, if you do the glitch, you will actually encounter Pokemon, like, every now and then. You will encounter a Pokemon in a secret patch of grass right here. I don't know how it works, but apparently there is a secret patch of grass right there. And uh, I showed it off in one of my other videos. And I've now just realized that they have little splits here. So I'm going to try it right here. Right, let's try it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we were so close. It put us up into the sky. But we need to fly. We need to really get to the wall and it'll make us like stick to it. So let's try it again. Come on. Oh, there you go. It made me encounter a Pokemon again. How weird is that, guys? That is absolutely weird. It makes you encounter Pokemon on these, like, these little lane of trees right here. How crazy is that? I, I don't know why it happens or anything, but um, apparently there's secret grass there or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty cool anyway. Um, come on. We can do this. Oh! Ah! I'm sorry, sir. I was just sniffing your butt. I'm really sorry, but it, you've got a nice butt. It smells like rainbows. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Just flip me out. Just come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this game. Come on. I'm pretty sure that the th this area right here is probably the easiest place to do it. Oh my god, there you go. Did it in one. Guys, when you try it in this area, do it in the corner. I should have just led from that. But um, yeah, there you go. As you can see, I'm at, now on the sky barrier in Route 7. And uh, I can pretty much, you know, go everywhere. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be, like, really excited when they see you doing all this kind of stuff. I don't know. It's pretty fun. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to announce that I'm in this area. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna see if everyone like freaks out when they come here. So yeah, be right back. Oh my god I swear to god. Why do you do this Troy? I've just randomly like I fell down off the thing So basically I encountered the Pokemon and Troy's doing the the huge character glitch. I swear to god 
You're crazy, Troy. You're tra you're crazy, man. Um, okay, so the, basically what happened was I was actually typing to those guys, and as I typed the R, um, like a letter with R in, or a, a word with R in even, it basically made me fall off my hoverboard. I don't know why, because I was typing and it shouldn't do that. But um, now we have to try and get up here because everyone's going to be coming in a second. I told them where I am and uh, I feel like they're going to be coming in a couple of seconds. So we need to really get this so that we can kind of like make people go crazy basically. I should probably do this in uh, the other place, the other route. I forget its name because this happens and I fall into the floor and I'm a, I'm a freaking tree. I don't even know. I'm trying to plant myself in the ground. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. As you can see, it kind of launches you up. It's kind of crazy. These trees do that to you. And people have actually known about this glitch for a long time. I basically just found out how to actually do it. And there you go. Okay, Troy. Okay, wait. Look up, Troy. Okay, I think he sees me. Okay, there you go. He sees me. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, he's doing the jumping glitch. Wait, you know how to jump again? Oh, yeah. He knows how to jump again. That's crazy. That's crazy. He knows how to do a, a jump glitch. That's That's cool. Oh, okay. Well, well, that's that then. I wonder if he can. Oh, he's jumping to me. What up? Whoa! He's on like an invisible barrier, dude. Dude, there, I didn't never knew there was an invisible barrier right here. That is crazy. You just basically jumped up here. That is insane. This should be like a thumbnail picture. Wait there a second, Troy. Wait there. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Right. Wait there a second. Wait there. Thumbnail. There you go. Thumbnail. Right, okay, let's go back a little bit, and uh, what we're gonna do is like that, and then we press, uh, wait, there, 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 there you go. Okay, that is a pretty cool thumbnail, if I do say so myself, good sirs. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying that, and um, I know, guys, I hope that you, today's video actually made you guys, like, really hyped up about this. I know a lot of you guys really like my glitch videos, and uh, yeah, I guess just have fun with this. Please send me screenshots on Twitter, I'd love to see them. And uh, yeah, anyway guys, that's pretty much been it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications and sponsor the channel because I'm going to be soon doing a lot of Fortnite streams which are going to be crazy awesome. Uh, but anyway guys, have an awesome day and until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya!